morning, fellas. It was a good night last night, but this morning, when it was time to get out of the tent and start packing, it started raining. As soon as it stopped, we packed up quickly, and here we are cooking some Canadian bacon because we're still in Canada. I'm gonna put some eggs on it, eat it with some pita, and we're pretty much uh, almost packed, ready to rock and roll as soon as we eat because today we're riding like the wind, guys, riding like the wind. So we need to put something on our bellies right now because we're not stopping for food. I don't, I don't even know if we're gonna come across any place where we can eat, but you know, that's besides the point because if we have a full belly, we will be all right. Breakfast of champions, man. Eggs, Canadian bacon, and some pita. How is it, Oscarito? Mm. Mm? Oh. Mm. We're gonna ride like the wind, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see who actually knows what movie that comes from. Run like the wind, bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, leaving the campsite. Good thing it seems like uh, the clouds are lifting up a little bit, so we may get a break from the rain, at least for a while. You know, it'll be nice if it doesn't rain at all, but it was a good night, man. I didn't get that cold. It was actually super comfortable. And this morning I woke up, it was about six o'clock. I had my hammock outside. So I slept for like an hour in the hammock and all of a sudden I woke up <laughs> because cold drops of water were falling on my face. I was like, oh man, no, no rain. So I had to run inside the tent and it rained for like half hour and good enough to get everything wet. What can you do, you know? Hopefully uh, the trail is gonna be a little bit more different today and not just gravel road. Be nice if it changed into more of a single track type trail uh, where there is uh, not as much traffic. All right, guys, let's see what the day has in store for us. All right, man, back to the car situation. One after another, my gosh. Ah, getting dusty and all this stuff that bother me. But uh, it's just the cameras, man. I mean, I cannot keep them clean. It's impossible. I have to constantly, you know, be, you know, stop and clean and five minutes or five seconds later, poof, there it goes again. So there's no point. No complaints, guy. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's a little bit frustrating. Just a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Uh-oh, big gas truck, man. Now we're definitely gonna get dusted. Oh, <laughs> I don't see squat. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I gotta stop, man. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to clean my visor. That was a lot of dust we swallowed right there, wasn't it? I know, man. I can't wait to get to a trail that is not traffic like this, man. No traffic at all. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but I hope I hope it happens soon. All right, there's nothing we can do, man. Let's keep riding. Oh, another one! Oh my gosh. I cleaned the lens, and then as soon as I did, a car went by, and then the truck. <laughs> I'm done, man. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be filming that much more uh, until we get to a different trail where there isn't as much traffic, man. I feel like if somebody asks me right now, what do you have for breakfast, Carlos? Well, I have some Canadian bacon. I also have some eggs. I have some pita bread, and I have some dust. Lots of it. Because, man, my belly is getting full with dust. Whew. All right, let's see, guys. I'm cleaning the lenses one more time. Let's see how long it lasts, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I wanted to clean the lens on the camera and film a little bit more. Because it really is such a beautiful trail. And the road, I have to believe that uh, they made this road with the intention of putting pavement at some point because the way the curves and everything is designed, man, they're just perfectly angled, you know? I mean, it has a, the right uh, bank angle. I don't know if that's the correct term, but they're very, very well designed. It's not smooth, not at all, because you got a lot of rocks, uh, holes, but you know, that's what you expect on a road like this. No problem at all. I actually enjoy it. That's why I stand up, because if I sit down, man, I go All right, guys, we are in the town of Coleman. It's still in Alberta. And uh, we just put some gas, got some water, and now we're getting back on the trail. I don't know if it's gonna be paid for a while or not. We'll see. We'll find out soon. All I know is that we're getting very, very close to British Columbia. And from British, British Columbia, we're gonna cross into the United States, so.
British Columbia, guys. British Columbia, we are in a new province. Back on the off-road, yes. We did about, uh, I don't know, almost 40 miles on pavement. That was nice, I mean, it was a nice road, but to be honest with you, I don't want to do more pavement, man. All I want to do is just off-road. <laughs> we did too much pavement to get here, man. I'm done, I want off-road. Every time I see pavement, I go like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't care if it's nice twisties, man. All I want is off-road. I don't care if I'm eating dust. Hey, this looks like a nice road, man. Oh, look, nice little bridge. This is so beautiful! This is everything I've been waiting for on this trip, man. A nice, small trail. I haven't seen one vehicle. Love it. <laughs> All right, seems like there is a little... Let's see, we're gonna have to figure it out which way to go, up or down. All right, this is... Uh... This is challenging, but this is doable. I think it's more doable than that. That's too close to the edge, man. It's too close to the freaking edge. No, it's gotta be through here. Yeah, it's fine. We can do it this way, okay? Yeah, this definitely was a rock slide just covered the road and obviously they've been going this way, but this way right here on the right is too close to the edge and it's very steep down. For some reason we lose our footing or something, we're rolling down. Here is a little more challenging, more rocks, but you know, I think it's definitely easier to go through. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, my, my goodness. Oof, I almost lost it here. Slice sideways. Yeah, let's go. There we go. Whoa, that shit was scary. Woo! Woo! Ah. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. That got my heart going, man. Oh, shit. What? This is completely washed out. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess there is no road. <laughs> so we just need that scary shit for nothing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I guess the road was somewhere around there and it's gone. Bomber. Man, that thing was scary, dude. Going up is gonna be even worse. All right, guys, here we go. Going back in the opposite direction. Wow, wow, this is where it gets a little funky because it's more inclined than it looks. Okay, and I'm just gonna let it roll. There we go. All right. All right, power, power up. There you go, 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 go. You got it, you got it. Uh-huh, good, because right there it gets a little challenging because of the rocks, so you have to really, there we go, there we go, just let it ride, there we go, nice. I know that on the camera, this looks probably like nothing, but it's not, guys, it really is challenging, man. Look at, look at this baby, look at my hand, look at this baby head, man, it's all over the place, look at this stuff. And not only that, I mean, it's inclined, so this, the body just slides, you know? Well, now we have to go back, man. Bummer. 
We were having so much fun on this trail. The adventure begins, baby. The adventure begins. All right, there is a little uh, trail that we're taking to see if somehow it connects uh, to the other one. We'll see, guys. What a beautiful trail, man. I can ride forever on a trail like this, man. Gosh, look how beautiful this thing is. We decided to head back and the reason is because this trail doesn't go anywhere it doesn't even show on the map we're gonna have to go back into the paved road and figure out how we're gonna reconnect back to the trail at least we are enjoying some beautiful trails man oh this is this trail this right here is absolutely gorgeous man Pola, starting to rain over there, man. Darn it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the town of Elk Ford, which is not far from here. We're supposed to be going that way, but it's nasty, it's raining. I saw a couple lining uh, in towards Elk Ford. It's actually nice and clear and beautiful. So we're gonna go there, find a place where we can eat. I mean, it's a small town, but it's gotta have some restaurants and just wait for the bad weather to pass. We are in the town of Elk Ford. And I guess there's gotta be a million elks because there is so many elks warning signs, you know, coming here. But uh, I think this is more like a, like a ski town. In the town of Elkmore. What do you, do you think skiing here? Maybe that's what it is. It's a very small town though. Yeah, I think there is skiing. I didn't see any gondolas or anything, but you know, we just arrived. All right, we're gonna eat right here in Amy's restaurant, man. We're starving. All right, we just ate on that restaurant. Nothing fancy, just a quick sandwich. It was nothing, uh, nothing fancy. But uh, at least we put something on our stomachs. You know, it seems like the weather is definitely clearing out towards the south. The rain seems to be gone. That's a good thing. So we're gonna start heading back south and uh, hopefully get back on the continental divide. Now, look at this beautiful day now, man. It was so stormy. Just a half hour ago over there, it was stormy and rainy. Now it's beautiful, man. Nice, clear skies. A little few clouds in the same direction, but that nothing that looks like it's uh, raining or is going to. Nice, man. Nice. Hopefully it stays this way. Yes. Downtown Fernie, man. Cool little place, man. Very cool little place. It looks like it's another town that just revolve around adventure sports. A lot of skiing activities, you know, a lot of winter sports and summer sports too, like mountain biking. I mean, I've seen so many mountain bike shops around, it's crazy. All right, a grocery store. We're gonna buy some supplies for tonight and uh, some water. We're already gassed up. All right, we did our grocery shopping for tonight and the beautiful day turned into a rainy day. <laughs> My gosh. Well, just a rainy good thing. We haven't hit any off-road yet, but we are in a cool little road. And hopefully it'll turn into off-road. But at least the sun is out and the rain is gone. We want to keep going, man. Oh, talking about the off-road. Here we go. Ah, yes. Yes, finally. Oh man, I didn't know it was gonna turn into uh, off-road so quickly. Let's see what this trail has in store first. Oh, okay, you know what? Time to put it on off-road mode. Because I'm not in off-road mode and those potholes, not good. All right, guys, cool little road right here. This is awesome, man. Very cool. This is definitely not gonna be as busy as the one that we've been doing at, you know, pretty much all day yesterday and today. So we won't see as many vehicles.
afternoon. We already done about 170 miles today. Not too bad. And hopefully we'll find a place to camp uh, pretty soon. There is a river that goes uh, not far from here. Hopefully there'll be some camping around it. All right, we couldn't find any campsites. So what we decided is we're gonna actually, we found these uh, roads that don't show on the map. It doesn't show as private land or anything. And we're gonna see if we can just find a, a cool spot to camp on the wild, baby. There is so many trails. I mean, this is definitely public lands because I don't see anything anywhere that says private, you know? It's a very, very nice single track trail, man. That's for sure. That is for sure. A little sandy action and mud. This is it. There's plenty of firewood. Look at that. Somebody left a lot of firewood. Wow, man. Look at this view. I know. Actually, I think I like it here. I think I like it here, man. All right, guys. Check this place out. The very first camping in the wild you know and the wild means a place that is not a designated campground and uh, and of course many people have camped here before we're not the first ones there is uh, a fire pit that somebody left and plenty of firewood which is perfect and look at this view guys look at this look at this you want to see it from the air check it out guys we are finished setting up our tent look at this beautiful view that we have from our tents oscar is over there i'm over here look where the edge is and look at this beautiful view man this is prime state right here yeah this is real estate golden freaking amazing days oh, was an oscar oh yeah and to finish it up like this man such a beautiful place man to camp and in the wild and in the wild i mean yeah. it's, it doesn't get any better and, and on top of that boatload of wood yeah left here for us from where was here i mean we got more wood now we can burn in a week yeah okay? know, we got a lot of wood <laughs> we got a we lot, got of, a lot wood. of wood but uh how was the overall today man oh, i was super cool especially that last part yeah the last part was great man. yeah i mean it really a little technical like, oh, yeah. uh, we, got, we saw a little sand oh yeah we saw some a little mud a we lot. saw the whole thing i mean today was baby heads we... today we had a little bit of everything yeah. just like a little you know a little taste like a of, warm up you know like a warm up i know i know it was it was incredible i mean it was a great day this is why we came here for guys this is it you know for this type of place to camp at for this type of riding that we've done today the weather actually held up pretty good it was supposed oh, yeah. to be rainy and we only got we got rain a couple of times but it was short yeah, it actually i liked it you know? yeah it was actually nice it, it, it kind of cleaned up the bikes a, a little, little bit, bit. <laughs> cleaned up ourselves man <laughs> <laughs> so what's for dinner jambalaya we, we got jambalaya rice yeah and we got some sausages and what else we got we got Jägermeister. We got, Jägermeister. <laughs> we got a little scotch left from a little scotch night. from last night. Yeah. So, guys, there is no way that you can actually describe this beautiful place just with words. I mean, actually, there is a way if you're a poet, but I'm not a poet. <laughs> I have to bring Shakespeare back from the grave, man, so he can actually make something out of this view in words. Places like this is what makes everything worth it. Yeah, Even man. the tough moments, uh, it just makes it totally worth it. And I'll tell you something. There is no hotel in the on the planet, in the world, no. that can match this. Man. No, there's no hotel, no. No, no, no. Life is beautiful, man. Life is worth it. Go for an adventure, guys.
Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, and right on amigos!